everyone, Queen Nelly here. I'm back with another haul video. This is a Comic Con and car boot sale haul video. Uh, yesterday I went to Film and TV Comic Con, I believe it's called, in Brayhead yesterday. I got a few things for my collection and there was so much stuff there, it was crazy. Um, I managed to find some Lion King, got some Once Upon a Time, so I was really happy with what I got. So right, basically as soon as I walked in there was a stall selling like TV merch. So I got two buttons. I hope this focuses. I don't think it will, but I got a Captain Hook button. And then I got another Captain Hook button. They were a pound each, so I don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but they're really cute. The second item I got was there was a stall selling like loads of vintage games and My Little Ponies and box figures. They didn't have any Lion King, sadly. Well, posters, but and stuff. But I did manage to find the Lion King for Game Gear. And this was five pound, um, so it's another vintage game added to the collection, I guess. So I was really happy to get that. The third item I got was this deck of Skybox cards. I'm trying to get out of the light. Um, this was five pound, and this has like the um, like special cards as well in it. So this is the whole deck of the special cards, and this was five pound. So I'm not going to take them out like the sealed wrap and it's in, I'm going to keep it there. But I was really happy to get this because I did want more cards for my clip. The fourth item I got was something I didn't expect to actually find at Comic Con. Um, it's this very cute, adorable baby Simba ornament. Um, it's by Precious Moments and I have got two more of these ornaments, one review of it. One item will be reviewed on Saturday I think. Um, but this is one of the last ones I needed, I need one more. And this little baby Simba, um, and the, you can position the butterfly, but I keep him like that, so it's nice. And the base is ceramic, he's like porcelain in there and inside. He's so lovely, and he was £35. They had more ones, they had like, um, Lilo and Stitch, they had princesses, they had Mulan, they had Robin Hood. I really wanted Robin Hood, but Simba was my priority, so I was really happy to get him. There was so many stalls actually selling like posters, like original cinema posters. And I looked through, I asked like, you got any Disney? And they did, uh, but there was no Lion King sadly. But they had so many vintage posters. I kind of wish I did buy the Lady in the Trap one. Um, they had loads, they had like original cinema posters for like Oliver and Company, Hercules. Um, I think they had Hunchback as well. Um, Lady in the Tramp, like all those 80s and 90s Disney films, Little Mermaid, they had them all. The only one they didn't have was Lion King and I was like, that is so typical. Um, there was another stall selling like prints from the movie, like Letographs, didn't have any Lion King. Um, I kind of wish I got the Little Mermaid one, but they were like £7 each and I wasn't really paying that for something I didn't have. Like, they had Tangled or something, yeah, but they didn't, so yeah. Um, my last, no, not my last item, my second last item I got from Comic Con is this Lion King limited edition self outfit. I'll hold it this way so it's easier. Um, I hope you can see the cells. Um, there's loads of different ones in there which is pretty neat. Oh, you barely see them because the sun's shining on them. Um, but you can see my reflection from my phone. Um, but it's like a mini montage thing and this is £20. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a frame or something for it because it's really pretty. And I don't have anything like this anyway. So I was really happy to get it. Around like the corner-ish from like the end there was loads of stalls selling like um autographs from famous people they had people like hooks and lana's and regina well and regina and jennifer morris and the stuff but they were 40 pound each and i didn't think they'd be legit so um i didn't buy any but i was really intrigued because they had so many of the same thing i'm like this definitely can't be real um so yeah um hopefully with my convention next year they'll all go um so that leads me on to my last item. I did buy from the stall, um, but it's nothing autograph. It's this big poster from the guys on Once Upon a Time. Um, this was £10 um, and I don't know to get this signed, but I feel like there's not enough room between people to like, you know, get it signed. But I'm still debating it because it'd be something really cool to get signed, like they can sign up the top or something. Like I've met her and him and her. Um, so I kind of wish I did get this last year. But this is £10 and I have it above my mirror. Um, but it's really, really nice and I love what Regina's wearing. But yeah, that was my last item from Comic Con and I'll move on to my car boot sale finds. My first item from the car boot sale was these very adorable Simba, like, float bands. I don't know the actual name for them, but you use them when you're swimming, like for kiddies. 
Um, these were forty pence. I actually thought they were a bear. He looks like he's got the face of a bear or something. But he's really cute. And they were forty pence. It was actually my mum's find because they went to the car boot first, and then I went afterwards because I was so tired. I didn't want to get up. But yeah, they was really really nice and something really unique. So I need to deflate them. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. I only got a figure set, but still, still some. So the figures were four for a pound. Um, they only had seven Lion King ones, so I got Shere Khan. I thought he was pretty cool to pick up. Um, as somebody else, they had Jungle Book ones, and like the whole set. But you know, I just picked up Shere Khan. So sorry if someone bought that Jungle Book set, <laughs> mentioned Shere Khan. Right. So for my Lion King ones. I have Shenzi. I did already have this set, but I sold it like last year and I totally regretted it. But I managed to find um, the whole set part two people, I believe. So, yeah. Got Shenzi, Banzai. They are like really well used, but I guess they're just gonna retire and I won't be selling these ones. No way, I love this figure set. Pimba. I do have the Timon for him somewhere in my room. I have him in a cup, I think. So I was quite glad I actually do have him still. So yeah, I got Pumba. I also have Scar, he's in my bookcase, so I'm not missing that many. Just Ed and Zazu now, so yeah. Got Rafiki, he's a pain in the neck to stand. Oh, and I've just thrown him away. Oh well. Um, That was Rafiki. I got Nala, who they all need a little clean because they were in like a blue box with other figures. And last, I got Mufasa, who's like really dirty as well but yeah there we go so that was my haul on the weekend um, from comic con and stuff i'm going to new york in four weeks well just under four weeks now um so you might not see much more haul videos from me because i'm trying to save so badly it's not working but i'm still trying to save um and i'll probably record some things not upload things daily when i'm in new york probably just record what i can then when i come home i'll just upload it as one big video I'm either planning to live stream when I'm in the Disney store in New York or just upload that along with my video. I'm unsure what I want to do yet. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited because it's like my first major holiday. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers by the way because this is like my first proper video after hitting that amount. That is crazy. I don't think like a thousand people would be that interested in my collection. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do for the occasion, but if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for being awesome. Like the video, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys at the weekend for another review. Bye!